Hi everybody. So I noticed an error in the previous video that I just put up about the volatility statistical arbitrage. And it's right here. I'm saying that, so U is the test statistic that's being imported in. And I said if U is less than 0 0.5, we should just take the cumulative distribution of that. But this is actually supposed to be zero as zero is the mean, not 0 0.5. So that's the, okay, so that part is fixed. Um, so now, the next thing I want to do is uh, come over here and declare um, entry t stat, and then this is going to be a list of um, 1.96, uh, 2.33, 3.5, and uh, 5.0. So yeah, these are test statistics. So I'm going to make it 10.0. Okay, so exit t stat is going to equal um, the same thing. So 1.96, uh, 2.33, 3.5, 5.0, and 10.0. So I'm going to call this t text t equals numpy dot mesh grid of entry t stat and exit t stat. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to define a figure. So it's going to be plt dot figure fig size equals six by six, um, and then I'm going to do ax equals fig dot add sub plot one 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 and projection equals three d and now what I'm going to have to do is create an extra loop um, so it's going to be I think it's going to be a double tab actually yeah I need to create two for loops outside of this so I'm going to do for I I in range um, I already know that um, I'll just do length of entry t stat and oh wait I forgot the parenthesis <coughs> and then this is going to be for JJ in range length again of exit T stat okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define this as GI equals um, actually yeah GI equals text of IIJJ. I'll call this G enter and then I'll call this G exit equals text of I no te of IIJJ. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to this one first and I'm gonna do G E I no G enter so then this is long NVIDIA and this is gonna be G exit oh wait, I misspelled this a little bit so G enter G exit so this is gonna be G enter and this is gonna be G exit so yeah the negative signs are different um, so now after these are done um, I'm gonna declare two lists so I'll call this profit X equals empty list profit Y equals empty list um, and then I'm gonna do a temporary so temp x equals empty list, temp y equals, actually, no, 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 I don't even need to do that. I could just do temp z equals empty list. So it's going to be, so instead of even call it x and y, it's just going to be profit equals. And then, um, so yeah, so I got temp z. So down here, I'm going to do um, temp z dot append balance BTC plus balance NVIDIA.
Okay. And then down here, I'm going to do profit.append temp c. So I'm still going to print out the balances and whatnot. Um, but what I'm going to do now is come down here and do, uh, let's see, I'm on the main line. So AX, so now I'll do profit equals numpy array of profit. And then I will, no, not what? And then I will do AX. Wait, what's wrong with this? Profit list. AX dot plot surface of text. Okay. Profit C map equals jet. And then ax dot set uh, title stat arb on volatility results, and then ax dot set x label is going to be entry um, entry t stat, and then ax dot set y label is going to be exit t stat. And then ax.set z label. I'll call this portfolio balance because I'm adding the two together. So maybe what I, oh yeah, since in the previous video there was like a negative balance, I'm going to do the maximum of balance BTC to zero plus the maximum balance NVIDIA to zero. So that way there was not gonna be a negative balance incorporated into this. Um, so yeah, so it's X, Y, Z label, um, PLT dot show. So yeah, let's run this bad boy and see like what the new results are. Um, so it's gonna be Python 3 vstat dot pi. And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna name this something else in the repo just so it's not confusing with the previous video's uh, code. But as always, the terminal takes like some time to boot up. Okay, so the balances are printing. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is, um, actually, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do, like, so they all start off at 10000 each, so it's supposed to be 20000 and it looks like none of these trades are, like, making that much profit off of it. Like, they seem to be losing, but, okay. So here we are with our, um, so we could see that at a high exit T-stat and a high entry T-stat, we have more we have a higher balance than we do is like if we pick lower T statistics and this is just basically statistics as a whole. Like, um, let me, let me do this. Um, let me go ahead and make this curve a little bit smoother. Um, maybe because, uh, let's, uh, let's see instead of, um, so I will start again at 1.96. Let me just, um, yeah, let me just get rid of these. So I will do numpy dot a range of 1.96 to, I will do it to, um, I'll do 10 again, 10.96 plus, uh, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll start off at 2.0 and I will go up to 14.0, no, 14.1, 0 0.01, so, no, 0 0.1 is the difference. So this is going to be a this is going to be bigger. So, yeah, let me go ahead and mute the prints. So I'm going to do 
maybe what I'll do is print print I I J J so I have like a better understanding of how much these go to so oh yeah actually instead of maybe I should do this two fifteen point oh um fifteen point oh an increment of one so it's gonna from two to fourteen so that way it'll be easier to run so now let me just double check make sure those prints are muted um yep so now I'm gonna do Python 3 V step Okay, this is going to take some time to run. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just going to run it, and then we'll see, like, the... We'll see. So... It has to go up to 12. Um, One fourth of one third of the way there actually. Yeah, but I mean like I I just randomly thought of this. I was like, what if instead of correlating results with each other, what if we correlate volatility and now this like has arisen? I mean if you're thinking about like doing research on this, like go for it. I mean <laughs> Okay, so it's about two thirds of the way done. It's almost there. Almost done. Last one. Okay, so here we have it. We could see that like, so yeah, this is a much better chart than what we saw previously. Um, we can still see that like, um, the exit T stat, so shown in this, it seems the exit T stat is not as much needed to be higher as the entry T stat. I mean, it's still, it has like a, yeah, you see right here when it gets to like 10 to 14, those yield like lower, a lower balance. Um, but if we look at it from this way, the entry T stat has to increase to be able to like make some profit on it. But yeah, so this is, a. Uh, this is basically statistical bar arbitrage on volatility. Um, so yeah, I um, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And uh, yeah, I apologize for that mistake in the previous one. But hey, we got to make like another better video with the 3D graph visual. So yeah, I thank you all for watching my video. I'll keep coming out with more and more good content. So stay tuned and peace out.